Welcome back to Aussie Beekeeping. So it's the 3rd of April today. It's about 21 degrees, so about 69 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna be getting into all these hives today, basically just to check the stores, see if we can pull any honey off in the next couple of weeks and to check their health. So still plenty of bees. Bit of pollen coming in still. Bottom board looks pretty good. So I'm gonna pop these guys back together. As usual, the Italians, packed full of bees. One of the frames from the center of the top box. Other side starting to cap it. That's a relatively new frame too, white wax. And if we look in the rest of this top box. So there are some empty frames. center box pretty hodgepodge as far as frames are concerned I'm not even going to get into that one only really bees on this center frame so I'll pop this box off have a look at the bottom So good coverage of bees, nothing untoward happening. These vented bottoms certainly take away a fair bit of junk from the hive. I'll pack these guys up and we'll have a look at the next one. So this hive's been pretty weak. I'm gonna pop out some of this center brood. See what I can't find. So we've got some brood. Also got pollen in there. Third frame in and there's pollen. I'd like to see brood on that. Get brood on there as well. A 
I'm just going to pop those guys back together and just leave them alone. Might have a look underneath them. So this blue hive's been pretty weak. We'll pop out some of this centre brood. See what I can't find. It's a not fabulous population. Good bit of weight in that box. In that box looks like most of these frames are drawn out and contain at least some honey a bit of nectar down there as well so i'll pop this box off and we'll have a look at the one below not a scary happening in this bottom box So that's the first frame I've pulled out of the bottom box and there's a lot of nectar in there, a lot of honey, but there's also some brood, which is a good sign. So next frame out, plenty of brood on that as well. Plenty of honey though in this hive. Good brood pattern there. So I'm happy I'm gonna pack these guys up and move on to the next bunch. So upper box here, looks like there's a good amount of honey, nectar. Oops, sorry bees. I'll pop a frame out. That one's pretty much full. It's really heavy. Other side as well. So the rest of the frames in there look pretty good. Nothing really happening in this one. Lots of empty frames. I'm sure they'll get to them when they can. So 
So nothing really untoward happening here. Good coverage of bees still. Pretty clean hive. All those frames of bees. So this is the clear hive. I put a box on these guys two weeks ago. They're populating the centre frame that I bought up. There's a bit of nectar in there. Oh, I'm sure you guys can probably see that. It's pretty heavy actually. But the rest of the frames they're just sitting on. So I'll pop this off and have a look underneath. So all in all, these guys look like they're doing quite well. They're chocker blocker on those outside frames and they're chocker blocker on the inside frames as well. I get a few people speaking to me online about whether this hive gets too hot or not. I don't think it does. So first frame out, plenty of nectar. Looks like the next frame is all nectar as well, honey. So the next frame's all honey as well. So we go for a third one. I would think that there should be some brood in this by now. If you haven't checked out these Hornsby beekeeping hive tools, I suggest you do. These things are mm. awesome. Mm -hmm. I've been using this hive tool today and I find it to be a lot better than the standard hive tool. First of all, it's thicker steel. It's got better weight to it. It's stainless and it's got a really, really sharp ground edge for scraping, jimmying or levering a hive open and great for taking stingers out. So that's the third frame or fourth frame in and still no eggs. So I found the problem. They swarm. So I must have I must have missed this cell last inspection. So I've either got a virgin or they're queenless. I'll keep you posted. There's our badly marked queen. At least she's marked, she's still laying. of you that believe that perhaps putting the bees in a plastic hive is somehow detrimental to the queen well that's not the case sometimes bees swarm sometimes queens die
Nothing really happening in this top box, so I'll get this off, have a look at the rest of them. So it looks like plenty of honey. I'm not gonna take these frames out. I'm just gonna lift the box off and have a look underneath. Plenty of bees, they're not coming right down to the bottom of the frames. This is a vented bottom board, so they're probably a bit cold, clustering up a little bit. Not that it's a cold day today, they seem to be okay. Just look at the amount of water in this. Pretty quiet in this top box. Bit of Pretty good looking cluster in this hive. Still goes right across the whole box. A bit of dodgy comb there, just sitting in the bottom. I'm not too worried about that. Pack these guys up, and move on to the next one. So this hive here is the pink hive and this one has a yellow marked new queen that was donated to our apiary by Robin. So let's suss these guys out, see how they're going. Looks like we've got some bees in the top working away. Only a couple of frames drawn out there, which I think is probably about the same as it was last week so let's get this box off and have a look in the bottom so good bee numbers up the top so it's about 28 days since this queen was put into the hive and she would have been released around about six or seven days after that, maybe even. Ow! Anyway, can you see why I requeened these guys? So out of all the hives that have been inspected today, I've just caught five off these guys and they're all over me already. I treated them, I treated them the same. Oh, one of them caught me a whopper right on the thumb. 
So it's, as I was saying, so it's been 21 days since this queen has started laying, about 27 since she was put into the hive, and already we have the brood. I haven't spotted any eggs yet. Yes, we have. We've got eggs and milk brood as well. So I would expect that the emerging brood that we see today is hers, and also the laid brood we see today is hers as well. So there's our brood pattern from our new queen. There's still a bit of chalk brood in this hive, but that's not her fault, that's my fault. And the other side is exactly the same. So fourth frame in, and this is absolutely riddled eggs and larvae all the way out to the edge of the frames. The other side is exactly the same. Frame five, eggs and larvae right across that whole frame, mainly eggs. Same frame, opposite side, all eggs. That will be one of her, that will be one of her babies hatching. Fifth frame in. Looking really, really good. And on the other side, same deal so she's doing a ripper of a job and she's just laying wherever she can because a lot of those cells are full of pollen here we are frame six these guys are really doing well now i did spot the queen while i was manipulating a couple of frames but i'm not going to hunt her down if she was there i was going to grab some video of her but i'm happy if she just goes about her business and the other side of the same frame. That's one of her drones. And that's frame eight. And that's frame eight. And on the opposite side of that. Is just more brood. So I'm going to put this box on top. Uh, but I'm going to take the coin excluder off. So last time I looked in this hive, I found a supersedure cell. So I would expect two weeks on there to be a virgin in here. Possibly mated, but probably not. Thank you. 
We've actually got larvae in there. And I think eggs. So it would look like we now have a mated queen in this hive. And it looks like we've got eggs as well. Here's our queen. Really good numbers in this one. Nothing happening on those, on this one either.